If you're dirty like your auntie's fatty, then it's bath time, my boo. Time to come clean for your bathtub interview with Auntie Sveti. First we'll suds up, then you tell me what's up. What's up? Wash up, then tell me queer what's up. Hi, welcome to Bath Hi. Time with Auntie Sveti. Hi. 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 Hi, I'm here with my good friend, Ida Summer Garden. Hey. Do I got a lipstick on my mitt? Ida oh, is the filthiest queen I know, and we're going to get clean today, Ida. Yes, we are. You may notice that I'm wearing my Diana Fire Yeah, I love fire Diana swimsuit. Fire. W. She's putting her face on everything. She She's is. She's like, do you want postcards? Do you want magnets? Yeah. What do you want, bro? Right now, her face is on my ass. And yeah, that's, that's where it should be. I brought up where the, be. Diana Fire because you were just on Now That Strike. I was, I was. Tell that me about was that. fun. Um, and it was kind of nerve wracking because it was the very beginning of the yeah. of the show. Yeah. So it was like way back then, like 1988 or something. And I'm what? Like, I don't know this music. I can't remember what. Oh, what did you have to lip sync to? Oh, I don't even know. I can't even remember. Tell people about they the, told me. the spin thing. Because you don't get to do what you want on the show. Oh, you have to do what yeah. they make. So the, the setup is that they have, you know, Regulars Autumn and Diana, of course, the host of the show, and then they have guest performers, and then you just there's four slots for just anyone to sign up, and then they, you know, mix your track or whatever that you don't know what you're singing. They play it, and whoever lip syncs the best gets to go on to the second <laughs> second round or whatever. Okay. I, yeah. I watched it once. I thought it was really fun, but I was yeah. Like, no, oh, it was God. a good show. You left a really good review. I was I proud did. of you. I was like, that is in depth. I meant to review things every Friday, but I only did it once. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw that you mentioned recently that Ida Summer Garden is one year old. She is. Yes. She is. May eighth was my my birthday. So tell me about the birth of Ida Summer Garden. She was always. Somewhere in North Dakota. <laughs> Never is that where you're from? Figure. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because, like, that's where I met my first drag queen. Yeah. And she would come into the TJ Maxx that I worked at, and she kind of just became my drag mom. Yeah. Like, temporarily. Do like, you remember very, her name? Um, Mia Star. Mia Star. She Are you out there, Mia Star? She is a Fargo queen, I believe. Funny here, that's where I always saw yeah. her. Yeah, you think she's and, still around? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mia would always come to the jewelry counter. Mm hmm. And look at the most shiny, gaudy <laughs> shit. And you had the just key. Loud. Yeah, and I had the key and to... shoplift. <laughs> yeah. I had my eyes on her. I wanted to give it to her. Like, yeah. I wanted to be like, oh, but there's cameras. But and... you wouldn't break the law. No. I'm in shock to. that there's drag in North Dakota. Yeah, me at too. All. There's like <laughs> oil, <laughs> nothing, beer drinking, <laughs> yeah. trucks, John Deere, and. <laughs> Yeah. And then how did you go from there to coming to Portland? So I graduated college. <laughs> um, what was your degree? Business administration. Of course. Marketing. Business administration. Business. <laughs> this girl means business. <laughs> marketing. Okay, yeah, go it on. Was, it was fun. Um, but no, so then I was done with everything. I was done with college, done with my lease. I knew that I wanted to go to Oregon. I actually visited in, like, October um, before I moved. Mm -hmm. And I just fell in love. Okay. I planned a trip out to see what it was like, um, look at jobs and apartments and whatnot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Got here, kind of started going to the shows and, like, seeing what the community mm -hmm. is. And I'd always go to Flawless, uh, Flawless Shade. Flawless shade. Anyhow, I would go to her bingo nights and, like, just kind of sit in the corner. I had, like, a blue wig at one point. I just yeah. walked in. And she was, like, this girl's, like, trying to steal my show. Like, yeah. trying to steal the attention. And we had a lip sync off. Uh-huh. And... You and Flawless Shade Me did. and Flawless Shade did. <laughs> and I clearly lost. Uh -huh. But, like, 
They're not gonna like be like, all right, loser, like sit down. They're like, no, she won. She's yeah. great. Yeah, let's give her a drink. Like that's kind of how like I got empowered to to do it and mm-hmm. like to do it so um, vividly and with so much like passion. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you were afraid. No, yeah. Because back in Fargo, I would never it, consider it. Was it. it was just a calling. Yeah. And then here in Portland, it just seemed like, oh, everybody's so fucking weird. Yeah, like, you want to. fucking everyone's a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're out to your family. Yeah, I'm out to my family. And that's kind of like a touchy subject in terms of Ida and whatnot. Cause they I don't know who I Ida is. I think they know who Ida is. But I don't think that they really want to know more about it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, let's not. They're talk like, about let's, that. Yeah. yeah. Let's oh. stick to politics and religion. Right. And things. Are you nervous about going back home? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm nervous to go back to Trump America and you know, Trump Town. Because I don't even. Is very I don't red. know if I've ever been bad. Yeah, very, very conservative, very. Oh, the bathwater right. skin. Yeah, it's, I got a chill too. I was like, can you turn the heat on? Uh, Turn the hot water on, girl. What What were the highlights of your first year in Portland drag? So, um, I really like Drag Danger Zone. Mm-hmm. I felt like that show is so easy going, but you can be so proud of yourself, and you can bring. You can do what you want. Yeah, you can bring. A, you it's know, not a number. game. There's no like pressure. Yeah. No one's like judging you or yeah. whatever. It's not a contest. Yeah. Tell me about your comedy as a drag experience. That was a really good show to start, Mm -hmm. because I really do think that it was all about the experience, Mm -hmm. not about the competition. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, like, went in with the idea that, you know, I might not win, but I'm going to learn and be able to do a whole bunch of numbers every week. It was, you know, a paid gig every week. It was constant money. It was Taco Bell money. And I was going to ask if you're actually paying your bills with drag. <laughs> no. What are your drag goals? Where do you want to be when Ida is two years old? When I'm two, I definitely want to have a title of some sort. Ooh. Um, I'm actually considering running for Miss Gay Pride this year. Okay. What do you have to do to win Miss Gay Pride? I think you just have to look really pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I love this. Isn't that fun? We yeah. we have some fun toys for the bath today. Talking about toys, I thought it would be so cool to relax a little bit. Yeah, let's relax. And put some eye masks on. Yes. And relax. Oh, it doesn't fit around. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. It's just a little I'm tighter than I thought it would be. Yeah. I should wear this, this out every night because then I don't have to focus on my eye makeup. This really is much. relaxing. If you did a number about the Parkland shooting, uh, did Sad Day mm-hmm. at Valentine's with uh, Buckmaster, mm-hmm. and so you know it's a show trying to make you like feel sad. And, like, That's the point. I didn't those, know like, that. About yeah, that. <laughs> sad, sad Day is like you know at least my interpretation of it yeah. is that like really like taking that moment to just, like identify what's making you so sad in life yeah and expressing it and that's exactly what i you know went out to do so i you know got my song picked out what was the song the song was Pumped up kicks. Okay. Kind of All the other kids with the pumped up, up kicks. kicks. Better run, better run. I'll run, my God. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. Better run, better run. Faster than better my run. bullet. And I died that mm-hmm. night, but girl, I was living. And people were sad. People were sad. People were crying. Because it is, it was touching and it was very... You know, in the moment, it was just, you know, recent that the Parkland shooting was. You know, I just wanted to make people think about it because I don't want this idea and this um, fight for gun safety to just wash away again. Yeah. School shooting, a lot of talk about change, nothing happening. The NRA jerking off in the closet. Mm, it's all the money that the they closet. are, yeah. Oh. You take risks for sure. I do. I try to. Mm-hmm. I mean, that count 
The drag elevates, I believe. Have there been some worst moments? I did. I went to <laughs> shit show and I did She Bang, She Bang. Uh-huh. You know the American Idol contestant? Yeah. You know, like, She Bang, right. She Bang. Oh, Will baby, you... when she moves, she moves. <laughs> William I Long. Went, or... Yeah, William well, yeah. something. William something. That's Shut everything up. we have for today. Thanks for joining us on Bad Time with Auntie Svetty with special guest Ida Summer Garden. Tickle, 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 tickle.